Hi, and welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and I can't wait to show you my November customer thank you card. I'm using the wonderful stamp set from the holiday catalog and the autumn accents die and the coordinations card stock. So come and watch. I love this card and can't wait to show it to you. Wonderfall stamp set is from the 2012 Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog, and isn't this beautiful? All kinds of different patterns going on, um, typewriter print and plaid and the wood grain and polka dots and, well, I would call that another plaid. And just so much fun bringing all these together. And so my challenge was to come up with a card that I loved but wouldn't take me forever when I'm making a whole lot of them for my customer thank you cards. So let me show you what I did. Of course, it's so easy to look good when you use embossing. And I had the wood grain embossing folder from the Stampin' Up! Holiday catalog as well. And so when we emboss with our Sizzix Big Shot, we need the multi-purpose platform opened up to tab one. And I like to get the, this tab out of my way. And we need a cutting plate. And then my folder, I wanted to make sure I got it on this knot, this little strip that I have. I think it's only an inch and a half. So I'll put it on that knot, folder, cutting plate, and then a quick crank through. And what I love about this folder, oh, you know what I forgot to tell you? This is Coordination's cardstock. How cool is this? You can see the underlying color without me even doing embossing, and that's with the wood grain folder from the Holiday Catalog. And then my leaf, I'm going to do a die cut leaf, but before I die cut the leaf, I want to emboss it with, oh, this folder that is escaping me, the square lattice, <laughs> with the square lattice. I thought, okay, because I didn't want just a die cut leaf, but again, the coordination's cardstock. And so the same sandwich, tab one, cutting plate, folder with cardstock in it, and cutting plate. Now have a look at this. The color barely, very, very barely came through, but it came so much better on the embossing, um, on the wood grain with the same cardstock, the, with the um, wood grain on, oh, okay, coordinations. <laughs> anyway, and so let's quickly, while we have the big shot out, I have the autumn accents die that coordinates with it, so the same shape leaves. Okay, in the acorn. And so our sandwich is cutting plate, big die, and I want this gorgeous, gorgeous maple leaf. And so I'm going to put the side down, the side that I like down, and then cutting plate. And so we'll just crank this through. And we've already seen what it looks like, so let me go ahead and put the big shot aside and let's go ahead and finish this card. So we're back with our early espresso embossed coordinations cardstock. Like I said, this wood grain, I'm very pleased with how that's showing through. That really resembles a tree to me. But for this, I wanted more. And I'm going to use the stamping, stampin' sanding block for this. And it, you have a piece of sandpaper and the short end and the big end. This would be for a really big area or a smaller area. And so we don't have to throw this away because we just replace um, the sandpaper. And we can always get more. We can get refills. And so I don't want it all, but look how easy this comes off. And I want to leave it varied. So I'm not trying to get every little drop off. Just trying to leave it varied. But I'm hitting those tough raised areas. Isn't that a cool look? And when you do this, I have to tell you, it does make a bit of a mess. This wasn't much, but I was doing something with the green earlier. And, and the Dust Buddy just cleans that stuff up slick so it's not in your way when you're trying to stamp. So speaking of stamping, that's what we need to do next. So I have the maple leaf from 
the wonderful stamp set, and this is limited edition to the holiday catalog, only available till January 2nd, 2013, and the Cajun Craze stamp pad. And I love these new firm foam pads. I don't have to press so doggone hard. I get them inked up really well. Look at that. Okay, now let me show you something. One of my downline and a customer, they don't like that you get ink all over. And I do. <laughs> I, I really do. I get ink all over every time. But I don't get ink onto my, where I don't want it, from those edges, because I don't rock. When I stamp, I stamp straight up and down, and so I don't get ink where I, I don't want to. So I love them, because before I had wham, 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 wham. I love I don't have to work so doggone hard. And I also think these pads would be great for someone if they have arthritis, because you don't have to work so hard. And so let's go ahead and start randomly putting on some Cajun Craze snowflakes, or snowflakes maple leaves. Here it's a gorgeous day out, and I don't know why snow came to mind. Isn't this pretty? Okay, and then over here, a little bit of a different angle. And so I want to change colors. I don't know if you know this, but when you do, you need to clean it. We certainly don't want that color ink in another pad. So I have here the Stampin' Scrub and the Stampin' Mist. And the Stampin' Mist will clean and condition your stamp. And on this side, you won't be able to see it, but they're little raised raindrops. So on this side, we get it wet with the Stampin' Mist, gently clean our stamp, and then come over here and dry it and get off any residual ink. Now we're ready to either put it away, or what we want to do right now is change colors and continue stamping. I want to continue now with the Crumb Cake Classic Pad, and this is from the Neutrals, with the same um, maple leaf. Ink that up, and then we're going to go in between, but if it overlaps a little bit, that's okay. And start filling in. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that a beautiful combination? Crumb Cake and Cajun Craze. Yay. And then over here I need to catch just a little bit of it. Let's see, we want to change directions. We don't want them all going the same direction. Fantastic. And then look, we add on our embossed. Isn't this pretty? It's all starting to come together. And of course we need to use mini glue dots for this mini glue dots because as much as I love snail adhesive, whenever there's texture that doesn't let the cardstock lay flat against cardstock, it just isn't going to stick well with the snail. So that's when we get out our super duper glue dots and we don't want to touch them to take away from their extreme stickiness. We take it to the glue dot, right to it, or the paper to the glue dot. Here we go. and then our leaf. So I had that little area, but that was okay. My beautiful leaf right here. And here we are with the completed card. Some linen thread tied around in a bow around the stem of the leaf. <laughs> Isn't that a sweet touch? But look how it coordinates with the crumb cake ink. Just so, so pleased with this card. And then inside, of course, some very vanilla cardstock and some coordinated stamping to bring it all together and so we can see what we're writing, too. And, uh, and so this is the card that everyone who orders from me in November will get. You know, when they place their Stampin' Up! order with me, either online or they call me or email me with it, and they'll get this card in the mail. But, you know what? Even better yet, when you're in my virtual stamp club, um, you get a thank you card for me, but not just that, you get a free online stamping class. And if you enjoy cards that are quick to make but fabulous, <laughs> you will love my club. I specialize in cards that are exactly that. Say it with me, fast yet fabulous. <laughs> because we're busy. We love to send cards that are beautiful, but we don't want to spend forever making them. And so for only a $30 order a month with a six-month commitment, 
you get not only, of course, your Stampin' Up! order of great products, but a thank you card from me and a free stamping class. Yay! So um, I invite you today to join the Stamping Smiles Virtual Stamp Club, and you can get pretty thank you cards and stamping classes. So <laughs> there we go. How about that? Um, I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.